I don't play naval battles often, but when I do, I choose German Moto Torpedo Boat LS-3. Because unlike most of other ships, its guns are not blocking each other. I am not forced to do all these crazy naval yoga maneuvers, where I have to show my side, bottom, back or middle finger towards opponents before I can shoot them with all available firepower. Though good horizontal guidance might have something to do with the quantity of weapons on LS-3. As experienced captains say, weapons will never block each other's line of sight if you have only one gun aboard. Boat's machine gun has caliber of 15 mm, which makes it the biggest out of all other reserve boats. And at the same time, 700 shots per minute also means it has highest rate of fire. Yes, other boats might simply have more machine guns, but I am trying to hype up the video by creating an impression of epic firepower. At first, I was using belt containing mostly armor-piercing ammunition. Because how much explosives you can put into 15mm bullet anyway, and armor-piercing rounds can penetrate up to 37mm, so can go through the whole vessel, damaging all sectors. At least, that was my idea at that moment. That was bad idea. I found out about it as soon as I realized that at battle rating 1.0, Probably most of the opponents will have no armor at all, so there is no point to focus on penetration. Plus the enemy planes look much nicer when they are exploding, rather than breaking apart. Though low battle rating also means that LS3 is at the bottom of food chain. And I can be up tiered, but not the other way around. On the other hand, low battle rating means I mostly meet with opponents of my skill level. When playing this boat, you must always keep an eye on one thing. Sometimes weapon overheats. Which is not surprising, if you don't want something to become warm, don't put that into a greenhouse. As soon as you start shooting, your weapon will start to heat up. If you don't release the fire button to give it some time to cool down, machine gun can overheat too much, making you unable to shoot at all for few seconds. And I am not aware of any game where inability to shoot would be a good thing. If you shoot as accurately as I do, I would recommend taking the maximum amount of ammunition into battles, which will be two 600 bullet belts, so you can reload once the first belt is empty. Just keep an eye on how many rounds you have. You don't want to end up facing opponents with only few pieces of ammunition left before reloading, which takes 10 seconds. Light can travel around the Earth 75 times during such reload. It has nothing to do with the game, I'm just trying to appear smart. Now let's talk about LS3 protection, its armor. We are done. Next topic, survivability. It is bad, the boat has no armor after all. But who cares about that when reserve vehicles have 3 respawns and are free to repair. The only bad thing about being destroyed is that you have to swim half of the map towards opponents again, wasting precious time. This is how smoothly I reach another topic, maximum speed. It's 79 km per hour, that is very good. Or maybe very bad, I don't know, I don't play naval battles often. But it is the second fastest reserve and boats become only slower as they get bigger, so if you ever feel that you could use some more speed, imagine how other ships are suffering and that will make you feel better. The good illustration of boat speed are its torpedoes. You drop them behind you and they stay behind you. Usually I launch them at the beginning of a match towards enemy respawn and forget about them until the end of a battle. Needless to say, I have more luck with artillery. While smokescreen, just like torpedoes, stays behind you, it is useful, especially when you are outnumbered, so you can focus on one target and hide from other ships. Would I recommend to play this vehicle? It doesn't matter, you don't have a choice, it's a reserve boat. 
In order to unlock something else, you must play it. For me, this boat felt comfortable and I could call myself effective in battles, even despite I don't play naval battles often. I will rate it 9 greenhouses out of 10. If you watched until this point, you either fell asleep or liked the video. In both cases, I personally recommend you to watch a video made in similar fashion about G56 in top left corner or trust algorithm and watch video in bottom left where YouTube will recommend you one of my videos based on information they collected about you.